Today we're going to talk about six animation courses that can help you understand how animation works in Blender. They are a great introduction to some of the most important concepts and techniques you will need as an animator using Blender. Number six, build an animated low poly rocket in Blender. This is a very basic and introductory course that will help you start creating and animating a stylized low poly rocket in Blender. In my opinion, this is a great start not only to animating but also to modeling, creating an environment in addition to creating simulations of fire and smoke. First of all, you will go through an introduction of Blender, then you will be modeling rocket, thrusters and fins, in addition to the environment and of course animating the rocket. Finally, we'll learn how to add materials in addition to fire and smoke simulations to finish the project. Overall, this course is very short and sweet if you want to get started with Blender. Number 5. Create a skateboard animation with Blender. This is a very light one hour course in which you will learn how to create simple skateboard animations in Blender easily. You will learn how to model a skateboard in addition to the background for animation. This training will also touch upon some of the basic techniques of animations that you will need. When it comes to the particle system, you will learn to create easy and quickly moving background animations which you can later easily edit and add and remove stuff from. Not only that, but you will also learn how to animate the camera and light which is not very noticeable compared to the skateboard animation but it will add a lot and it will make the whole thing look much better. Number 4. Fundamentals of Animation in Blender this course is one of the most basic courses for learning animation in Blender. First of all, because it is not a character animation course, furthermore, it is created to cater to the new people who don't have any experience whatsoever learning Blender. You will learn about keyframes and channels in addition to interpolation, the timeline, graph editor, dope sheets, and much more. In my opinion, if you have never animated something before, then it will be tremendously valuable because it will give you the basic and necessary understanding that is needed to lay the foundation for what is more complicated. Also starting from the very bottom will give you the confidence to pave the way for more impressive projects like character animation. Number 3. Blender Awesome Animations this animation course is a little bit different because it is going to help you understand and create looping animations similar to those you see motion graphics artists creating. Some of these animations include looping cone animation, cloth simulation, hexagonal loop, looping spiral, text animation, dynamic snow animation, and much more. This training includes 15 lessons in total, which gives you enough understanding and knowledge to hopefully start creating your own cool animations inside Blender. Number 2. Close in Motion This is a fantastic course about close animation in Blender. You will learn cloth modeling and simulation, adding details and rendering, fixing simulations when they are not ideal, in addition to fixing simulations with examples to understand the process further, and finally you will add how to add details to your close. What you will get is not just training, because you will also get an add-on in addition to a nice library of assets that can be a great start when you need resources to apply different techniques and learn when faced with different situations. Some of the features that come with this add-on include the ability to slap decals and objects onto a cloth simulation such as zips, buttons, threads, pockets, and so on. Furthermore, slowing down and speeding up cloth simulations after baking, editing cloth simulations on the go. In addition to that, it has a sculpt mode and edit mode enabled after baking. This will let you fix simulations and even go as far as animating hands into pockets using shape keys and more. The library comes with 5 shoes, 6 glasses, 4 sandals, 17 different buttons and pockets in addition to watches and hats. As you can see, this is a high value offer compared to its price, so you probably want to take a look at it. Number 1. Animated First Person Character Weapons in Blender This course from CG Cookie is a fantastic Blender training for learning how to create all different types of fire weapon animations like reloading, melee attack, and transforming the rifle into a sniper as an example, in addition to other animations while holding the weapon such as standing in an idle position, walking, and running. The training is divided into 5 chapters. In the first one, you will learn about the rigs and how to set them up for animation. By the way, there are 3 different weapon rigs and 1 character rig. In chapter 2, you will learn how to create the main animations in video games such as idle position, semi-auto rifle animation, and full auto animation. 
The next chapter is dedicated completely to the reload animation because it is the most important and the most impressive or at least it is the one that you will be aware when playing a video game since it is needed often. In chapter 4, you will learn how to take care of other animations that are not directly weapon animations, yet they are very important in a first person shooter game. Animations such as running, jumping, transitions, in addition to the rifle transformation. Finally, in chapter 5, you will learn how to export everything together in a video game engine. If you are interested in one of these courses, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.